All right, here we go. FBG Butter, welcome to Vlad TV. It's a, it's a pleasure being here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I finally made it to the big boy league. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? I'm, I'm, I, you know, they, everywhere I go, they say I'm a legend. You know what I'm saying? So it feel good to be in presence of another legend. You know Thank what I'm you, saying? man. Thank so, you. And you actually drove here from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know. Well, we're in LA, by the way. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> do a Google Maps real quick. We are gonna do a Google Google well, Maps on. from 63rd. <laughs> from here in Chicago, Illinois, directions. Hold on a second. It's taking a while just to calculate so far. It is a 31 hour drive from here. I I said we made. I I I felt like we did like at least 26 hours. Okay. You feel me? You I felt like fast. we did the whole 30 the whole 30. 32 hours or 31. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we did stop though. We stopped, got us some good weed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We was up in the mountains. That that shit crazy. It feel good though. It felt good though. Honestly, I I could have flew. You know what I'm saying? It would have been cheaper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I spent way more money driving. But it was the it, it was the experience. It's the experience for me, you know. I must have been in jail so long, house arrest and you know what I'm saying? All always wrapped up in some just some bullshit where motherfuckers scripted to being in Chicago. So more with this chance of being able to not even finally move free and be able to move out of Chicago and do something outside of what a motherfucker came up to, what a motherfucker adapted to. Yeah, man. And from what I understand, you guys never even stopped at a hotel. You guys just took turns while other yeah. people slept and just did our thing one after another. That's wild. You that's wild. Hey, saying? man, that's a hell of a road trip. Yeah, you know? it's definitely great story. Too, it's you know experience too. Experience, exactly. Great experience. You know what I'm saying? We up in the mouse. I ain't never drove through the mouse. They ain't nobody. Half of the people who probably even watching this probably never even rode through the mountains. Yeah. And just driving through the mountains alone it was a, it was a, just a crazy, a great. It was a great ass experience. Like, my fuck was a little lightheaded though. Ears kept popping, pop, <laughs> but fuck it. It was. Hey, look. And we got that. We made the. Uh, what we make it to? What what part of uh, we what we was when we got the weed? Idaho Springs, Colorado, man. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, that shit had me so hot. <laughs> I always felt like I was on a roller coaster smoking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, Shout out to Colorado, man. Shit, my girlfriend fainted in Walmart. <laughs> 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 no, seriously though, bro. I'm not making this shit up, bro. We high as hell out there. That's we, what's up. That weed tasted so good. <laughs> well, it's your first time here. I want to start in the very beginning. Born and raised in Chicago. Yeah. What part? I was born on 39th, Addie B. Wells. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we had moved to 63rd at like 98, 97. We moved okay. to 63rd at like 98, 97. Shit. Been over that my whole life after that. It's like all I knew was 63rd. Okay. And... Your parents broke up when you were young. Yeah, not nah, my dad. My dad ended up passing. My dad had died in 04. Oh, okay. My dad was shot and killed in uh, 04. You know, then she, you know, my mama, she had to, you know, step up. But she, she had us though, cause and then my big, my my older brothers and my little sister, they dad. You know what I'm saying? He a great man too. Like I call him, I call him my daddy. Oh, um, bro, I call him my dad, cause. When my daddy died, and before my daddy died, my my little sister and my big brother and them did, like, shit, he always been there for me. Like, when my daddy was alive, he'd come get my brother and, and my little sister. And he'd be taking them out of, like, I'll ask about a dude he want to come. Of course I want to go. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So he always been a real father figure, even when my daddy was alive. So a lot of people would probably hear me like, yeah, because my, da my daddy owns something. That motherfucker hear me tell another story like my daddy did. But I call my little sister and my big brother and them daddy. I call him daddy too. Okay. Being a great man. You know? What was the situation around your dad getting killed? Uh, He he was dating a woman who he got into with her boyfriend, sh robbed her boyfriend, shot his Shot, shot the tip part of his ear off when he robbed him or some shit like that. And uh, when my dad took me, he he had took me home, and he was like, uh, 
we had one home. I was he asked me that I want to go back with my of my grandma career, which is his mom. I'm like nah, I'm gonna stay at the crib because I really was missing my friends. I'm like stay at home, feel me? And uh, he like ah, oh, he left. But they say you know what I'm saying. My grandma and my uncles and stuff, his little brothers, they say when he had made it to his his other little girl for a crib, her boyfriend was in the had behind the couch with his gun. Shot he shot my daddy twice with a shotgun in his chest. Mm -hmm. Bro, yeah, that shit was crazy as hell. Did he get convicted? Uh, of the, of yeah, the... yeah. So he, he, yeah. So he's in prison now. Yeah. No, no he getting ready to come home. It's twenty twenty four. Oh, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's that's a pretty serious. He get ready to come I mean, home. You can't even say that's manslaughter. Yeah. That's a full full blown murder. Yeah, charge. It was like that was it, that shit was premeditated. Yeah, but he, they gave him manslaughter though. They gave him manslaughter. Huh? Because they say my daddy had a gun on him. Oh. They probably, I, you know, my daddy never went nowhere without his scrap. So, yeah. and what is, it, 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 it wasn't possible that he didn't have his gun. You know what I'm saying? But, dude getting ready to come home. You know, I don't even know his name. That's crazy. But he getting ready to come. I know what he look like, though. Hit. <laughs> Hit. Um, bro. What would you say to him if you actually, if he walked in the room right now? Right now? Yeah. I wouldn't say nothing to him. I really ain't got nothing to say to him. It's like, shit, I already grew up so long without my daddy, you know, bro. It's like, shit, what what, what can you tell me? Oh, man, I feel your Joe daddy. Well, like, the shit, what, the shit, you, the shit you would, he would say out of his mouth. I wouldn't want to hear. Yeah. But I wouldn't even do nothing to him, though, honestly. I wouldn't try to kill him or none of that shit. Um, bro, I just tell him, like, live your life. Because you got, cause now you got his shit back. So I really expect for him to live his shit because his life could be easy to take it too because I ain't no kid and I'm not a regular guy. Okay, so you're growing up in Chicago and you go to a bunch of different high schools. You went to John Hope, Hyde Park Academy. Yeah. You got kicked out of Hyde Park? Yeah. <laughs> for what, for fighting? Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I, like, I like to fight, you know what I'm saying? You know? You get a little steam off our chest, and I shake your hand too. If I lose, mm. you see, I, just, I had to put a big explanation mark, I mean, question mark at the end, because this bit really is an if with me. You might win, you might not. Everyone loses and, and wins fights. That's, see, just, that's just reality. Of I, life, I just man. told somebody that the other day, he's like, man, buddy, have you ever have you ever lost a fight? I'm hell yeah. Yeah, we all have. I mean, I hear a motherfucker then and knock me out. He hit me so motherfucking hard. I was in that motherfucker like, damn. I, I just got hit hard like that recently, too, at the bar. Nigga bust me, five my bust, split my lip up. But I'm like, damn, this nigga just hit me hard as hell. What the fuck? <laughs> hell yeah, but anybody can lose a fight. I've been saying I'm nice. I ain't saying I'm better than everybody, but I'm nice. I don't, bro. Like, my takeoff is it's, it's nice. <laughs> so if you take off of me, you got to be ready. If I'm, my shit, my snatch decent. You feel me? I can fight all day though. Okay, so you're getting kicked out of school. You're you know growing up in Chicago, and at what point did you become a gangster disciple? I mean, I've been a gangster disciple since I was five years old. Was your dad a GD also? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so you kind of grew up in that in that whole situation. Uh, yeah, even when he told me I was GD, I was still GD as hell alone. But what old school was tough? I was just tweaking. Oh, because he didn't want you to be one. Nah, he didn't want me to game, man. Um, bro, cause I like, I I I did mixed martial arts and shit like that. You feel me? I'm fucking push my OG, them no, pops, and them had me fight. So he like, shit, you gonna be a boxer? You tell me, I'm gonna fucking GD. You tweak it. Go your ass to school. But boy, when you ain't in the hallway inside the building with folks, them I be in the hallways with folks, them stealing they ducks, rolling them bitches up, getting how big folks now, steady screaming. Popcorn, popcorn, coming down the one. Popcorn coming up the one. Don't give me my little $45, man. I've been out here all day screaming popcorn, man. Bless me. Pops him out. What the fuck you doing out here? Shit. I'm out here with little Ronnie now. They out here. Just out standing in front of the building with bro now. I've been out here hustling, Scott. Oh, I, that's what I thought I was doing, but yeah, hell yeah. Pops him out. He ain't like that shit. Okay, but you couldn't do anything because you were starting to get older and you're doing what yeah, you want to yeah. do. Once I once I turned like nine, it was busting. 
Uh. I was out. I was on the block. I was running from their ass. Then they had to catch me. Then was getting about it out of him, OG. What? I see they kind of running from that bitch like it's the blue and whites. Gotta go. Folks said, what the fuck about to just go? Do this gangway, that gangway, through that gangway. I'm walking up that block and finna go get up with another crowd of folks now. Cause I know they over that deep too. Can't stand right here. OG no spinning this bitch like the ops. I gotta go. <laughs> Alright, cause cause over time you've gotten shot 13 times. Yeah. How old were you when you first got shot? I was like, nah. At nine years old, you got yeah, shot. Yeah, but I was standing on the block with Big Bro and them. I was standing in the gyro, R.P. Dawn. This on my big homie Dawn and them guys. Motherfucker came through shooting a shotgun. I got hit with a buckshot. I got hit with some buckshot. Back of the head? No, nah, I got hit in the back of my uh, in the back of my leg by my Achilles. Okay, so was it close range or was it from far off? Nah, it was like from the. He he was running up on us though. He definitely was trying to get up on us, but it was right. like from the far though. Right, cause shotgun sprays. Yeah, sprays in an arc, so you it got don't, hit. Dome got hit right here. That was the first person to get hit. And then we all was trying to get up out of that. That's not, I, I look down, I'm damn, my shoe mushy as hell. I'm running out, what the fuck? Oh, my shoe getting there, feel like I got slapped in a puddle of water or something. I bought my old chief and it beat my ass. She just bought these. I know I ain't just fucked these up. I look down, I'm, I'm that's blood. Fuck, I got blood in my shoes for. Then my legs start burning off. Oh, these, I'm like, these niggas that shot me. I'm scared as hell. I'm scared. I'm more scared of getting my ass whipped by my mama. <laughs> All the, the shoes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm like, I just got shot and fucked the sneaks up. Oh, she just bought these bitches not even 24 hours. I'm going to block them. I'm fresh. Yeah, got my stupid ass pop. Trying to be a big boy. Oh, bro. Well, at nine years old, you had to go to the hospital for that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you go to the hospital, you're a shooting victim, cops show up. W what do you tell them at nine years old? Shit, I was standing outside with my friends playing football, my friend got to shoot. And that's that? That's it. Okay. Did you, did you see anybody? Nah, it was a cop. Came back. Nothing. My mama getting there, he say, he told y'all what he know. He ain't see nothing, leave him alone. He hurt, look at him, he in pain. I mean, that bitch over dramatic when she say that. Ah, my, my leg. It hurts so bad. I gotta drop a tear. Oh, gee, y'all see, look, leave him alone. Mm -hmm. My, my. Uh, okay, so after getting shot at nine, did that make you think maybe, maybe this gang shit ain't for me? Back then? Yeah. Hell no, nah, boy. I wanted to shoot a nigga back, boy. Motherfucker just shot me. What a pipe said. So it was just a game. To go slide. It was just a game to you at that point. Hell, boy, what? Shit. Uh, I can't let you do something to me that I can't do back to you. It's crazy. Okay, but you're only nine. But I was been fucked up since I was who? <laughs> no, for real though, what? Bro, for real. No, seriously, though. At nine, then you got to think about it. everybody I hang with. They 13, 14, 15, 20. Folks in the grown as hell. Teenagers and shit. They high school. You're the youngest one out there. Nah, hell no. Nah. Right. Little Mikey little Mikey from Jaro, Free Little Bro. He's the youngest one out there. He was a, folks was a kid. Cause How old? Like, when I was like nine, ten, Little Mikey was head to be like eight. An eight-year-old is out there. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Mikey got the biggest gun on them out there. My dear sister. Look, Mikey got the biggest pipe out there. They had an eight year old with a big ass gun on him. Ain't nobody got him with nothing, boy. That's folks shit. Folks took that from a motherfucker. And you ain't taking that bitch off from her. Unless you try to get popped for that bitch. Fuck is she telling me? I mean, now that you're a little older and you're looking at this situation, it's does crazy. It, does that sound just kind of insane to you? Man, look, I be tough, right? Me and my, me and my boy Treyo, man, Corporate Quartier Media, right? No funny shit. We were just talking about like nine to back then. Cause right now, they way more vicious than we was back then. See, back then, yeah, we had little blicks and shit, but sure, we weren't killing nobody, gang. You feel me? We'd go through pop shot, probably sh knock the glass out the bus stop or something. Real shit though. What if we gotta be, we, let's get thinking about it. 100 shootings. Nobody been shot though back then. Right now, it's 100 shootings. Motherfucker, 200 people did. Hmm. On folks, great. It was more than, and they, and it's the kids. Mother, they going, going through this bitch 200 shots. 
drums. Oh, hey, shoot motherfuckers Korean up. Sad, Switch man. Shooting sad. cribs up. These little niggas walking motherfuckers down like they on the game, gang. Okay, so you get shot at nine. When does the next shooting occur? What age? Uh, 15. 15. What happens there? I was on the block with the guys. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Same situation. You see the little pattern here, <laughs> Kurt? I, I, okay, I see the pattern. See the pattern. Look, okay, all right. I, that's why I don't hang out. That's why I don't hang on the block. I don't hang on nobody block right now. Okay, so 13. Cause look, now 13, look, because everything wait, wait. that's fit to happen is fit to happen on the block. Right. With the guys on the block. Right. So you, you said 13? No, I was, I was 15. 15, my bad. So, I was 15. That's when they shot me in my stomach, all in my head, in my face, well, in my face and all that shit. Okay, so, so that's, that's when all this shit happened. You got shot in the face? Yeah. In the stomach? Yeah. I'm right here. I'm right here. Oh, bro. My ass. Your shoulder, your back, your yeah, knee, my ass. your thigh. How, how many bullets did you get hit with that day? I got hit, I got, I, I got hit six times that day. Six times? Yeah, they fucked me up. Um, bro. They fucked me up. Oh, um, bro. Right, because you say you got shot in the face, but then you got shot in the stomach. stomach you, you couldn't even get up, right? Hell no, at first, because I was trying to blow back. Oh, folks, great. Once I got hit in the stomach, uh, I, the first bullet hit me in my ass. Oh, folks, great. No, no homo. No, because y'all, these, these niggas be freaky as hell. They be watching it. Motherfuckers be freaky as hell trying to make shit out of men's and shit. You don't make it seem like I'm saying I got hit in the ass in no other way, gang. They you really be freaky with the as hell. Now bullet. look, so look, when yeah. the first bullet shoot, when the, when the first bullet hit me in my ass, I'm damn. The fuck? I feel like before it threw a rock at me. I look up, what the fuck? I, now we hitting shots, but it sound like motherfuckers shooting at, for, on St. Lawrence or Champlain or something. Don't, on my brother, they don't, it don't even sound like a motherfucker blowing at us. Whole time motherfuckers standing at the corner, blowing our dumb ass down. I look over. That's how I end up getting hit in my stomach, in my face, because what? I motherfucker turn around. Damn, I'm, I'm hit. I'm just joking. But then that next bullet hit the wall. I'm, what the fuck? I turn around. I be, uh, uh. I'm, ooh, hold on. It's getting off. I, but I got 38 on me. That bitch only got six shots. So that ain't work. It, it, it ain't work. Okay. I so got the whole poor shot up. I'm not supposed to protect the folks now. Okay. So they take you to the hospital again. Yeah. Did you think you weren't going to make it? Man, I want some real shit, brother. I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. Allah, the book, whatever these people believe in, in real life. But I'm covered, right? Somebody over, upstairs is watching over me, making sure that I'm cool, because they knew that I had to be here and, and take responsibility and be a man for my daughter. Her mama did. Oh, um, bro. Motherfucker knew this shit was gonna happen. So, yeah, I definitely thought I was fit that up on folks' grave, right? <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. Sure, I've been the back of the ambulance. I'm like, man, I called my mom. I'm like, man, I'm shot. She like, man, stop playing on my fucking phone. She at work, though. <laughs> I'm man, I'm shot. She like, man, stop playing on my fucking phone. Hang up on me. She hung up on you. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, point. I know it's not funny. It's, nah, just, but it's, it's, it's just sort of a, a weird creepy. situation. Yeah, a crazy fuck? situation. Oh, she's like, man, stop playing on my fucking phone. Hang up on my stupid ass. I call my auntie. My auntie like, boy, where you at? They say you shot. You all right? I said, I'm shot. I'm hit. Oh, bro. My auntie, she come over to ride me to the hospital. She like, wow, you hit that? You know, I tell her. My stomach, my stomach and shit hurt. Whoa, whoa. My stomach hurt. In my mouth, she like yeah. She like it's all right though. She like it. She like it's, I don't look bad now, if you. I'm wrong. Damn. Oh time, oh, damn. They just said fuck me up. I just had a 21 shot P85 Ruger on my dead sus. I'd have let my homie Tutu finesse me out my pipe. Had I had that stick on me, it would have been a real shootout out there on my dead brother. Oh, folks, bro, yeah, I would've, I would've, I would've chased little folks them off that corner. It's self defense. I would've left folks them down now. Whoever they was, they say it was Fredo in the cut making it very scary, like Fred. That's what J Main said. I start that. I don't really know though. You feel me? J Main said it was, it was Fredo in the cut making shit scary, like Freddy for us. But shit, you know, I'm the boogeyman too. I'm my mama. You got shit bagged. Over that situation. <laughs> <laughs> and OD got his head busted over like a wallet miller too after that shit too. Did other fuckers do the math on it? I hope it's what? 
Ogies, what? Oh, false grace, like shit. Whatever they did to me, oh, false grace, they have it right back to him. Oh, false grace, they, yeah, they shot me six times. They may have got shot 17 times. Oh, false grace, he couldn't fight that knickknack. So you're in the hospital for like a year and a half, right? Who? You. No, I was in. I was in therapy for like a therapy year and a half. Therapy for a year and a half, Wearing the bad. shit bag, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I had to learn, you know, I had to learn a little shit. I had to learn some little shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody gotta learn how to read one day. Yeah, but I had to learn how to read, talk, walk a little bit. The motherfuckers was fucked up. Okay, so that was age 15. When yeah. does the next situation happen? Uh, 19, when Kyra passed. Okay, so let's talk about that situation for a second. So, how do you pronounce her full name? Jakira. Jakira Barnes, Barnes. AKA KI. KI. You got that chain on right now. Yeah, I got a, I got KI tattooed on. I got KI all over my body, bro. All okay. over my face, everybody. That's your is it your twin sister or? And like that's my twin, bro. But she have real twin is is George G I Joe George Barnes. G I Joe, right? You know what I'm saying? That's her real twin. I'm just my little sister, but. Okay, you guys have the same mother, or same father. Same pop. Same father. You know what I'm saying? That's less us. Okay. But shit, I feel like we got the same mama, same daddy shit, how we all grew up, you know? But yeah, G.I. Joe, that's our real brother. Look, that's our, that's our real twin. Right, because what well, you guys have the same father, she was one years old when your dad got killed. Yeah. Right? Like two? One she, or two. She was she was somewhere up in there. She they was, was young. They was, they was, yeah, they was young. They was kids. We was already up up in age because they the last. They was the last kids. They the last kids. Okay, because at one point, Tuka gets killed. Yeah, I she got was shot. She was close to Tuka, right? And you were close to Tuka as well. That was my best friend. Like uh, that was your best. And real facts, like even right now, the old videos that's researched for the up Tuka, like. Y'all always either hear me or see me right there. Like, it's my dog. Oh, bro. That was my dog. And he kept me fresh as hell. I was fresher than a lot of them niggas. Because, you know, Tuka stole clothes. You feel me? Folks run no killer. You feel me? In real life. Like, that's why they even hear motherfuckers like, oh, damn, I'm smoking Tuka. He'd be like, what? Why you not smoking a motherfucker that was out here smoking y'all ass? Oh, um, bro, motherfucker that was actually out here killing motherfuckers. That's the motherfucker you smoke on. You don't smoke on it because technically Tuka would have been an innocent bystander. Right, well, he was 15 when he died. Yeah, but he still would have been an innocent bystander. Because in real life, Shorty wasn't getting, he, he, he wasn't getting wild. He went with that shit. Yeah, he, he was from over here, but he went with that shit. He went with that shit, boy. He not trying to go slide, do none of that shit. Folks downtown still in clothes, chasing hoes. Well, yeah, that whole area got renamed Tukaville after him. Yeah, I mean, it, cause there was a big impact on all of us. You know what I'm saying? He so close to the whole block. He had relationships with everybody on the block. He got how with everybody on the block. That's just like Dale and Modell. Dale went from our block. Squirrel went from our block. Died over here. You know, he died over there, but you like you him up from TW or from STL, they'd be like, boy, on square. They merch, you feel me? On Dale, Dale, they be like, they merch on Dale or Modell. Bro. Okay, so the, the Tuka death well, affected everybody, including you, including KI. Now, KI, she saw her brother killed in front of her at one point. Are you related to this brother as well? No, that's 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 Tuka. That's our brother. Oh, that's oh Tuka. You know what I'm saying? You know oh, how that okay. shit go. Oh, then, were you guys actually related? Nah, related? hell no. Nah. Tuka oh. ain't related to us for real. But you know that's our brother, gang. Okay, so did she see Tuka get killed? Yeah, her look. You no, know, her her look. It was her GI Joe, Lil Darrell, RP Sad from Jaro, Ronte, Buka from Six Hundred, Buka D from Six Hundred. They big brother, that's Ronte on um, bro. Ronte, it was a couple of them out there on first grade. Couple of, uh, couple of guys, C Dog, couple of, couple of guys, not C Dog from the O, but C Dog from, from our shit, from Jaro. Couple of the guys out there. That's why motherfuckers knew exactly who, who killed Took right away because it was so many people out there. Motherfuckers walked up and only killed Took, only shot Took. He was at a bus stop. Yeah, he was at the bus stop. They on a bus stop six deep. 
Okay, because and the bus stop six deep, gang. Well, the story goes that she killed someone at fourteen as revenge over Tuca. That's what they say. Man, OD got his shit black. Right. Well, Odie Perry got killed at one point. Sure. And they're saying that Tom Junior. They're saying that she was the shooter. That's the rumor. I mean, it's it's footage. It's actually it's a it's a, it's a video of Odie Perry getting killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you saw it. I ain't seen nothing, man. I just heard the stories, bro. Okay. I just be hearing shit, man. I be hearing through the great bands, like his shit. I don't be knowing nothing for real. You know what I'm saying? Not all the time. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Uh, not you know, all the time. We're, we're talking about people who aren't alive anymore. Yeah, no. You know, this, is, this is why I'm not talking up. about active murder cases. But I'm saying, though, Shorty, he killed Tuka. So he wasn't innocent, though. So it ain't like we talking about an innocent. So you're saying Odie Perry was the shooter feel for Tuka. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Feel, it ain't like he was innocent, guy. It'd be definitely like. OD was a motherfucker who wasn't doing shit. OD, you killed the you he killed the motherfucker that wasn't doing nothing. That's why he died the way he did, and he died fat. He, he died quick too. Oh, um, bro, and you died by a kid. You let the kid kill you because you went over there and killed the kid. Oh, um, bro, over a fight. They say OD and Tuka had a fight earlier that day at school. They both was going to win their fellas. Tuka supposed to choke OD up, choked him to the locker, right? They both got, they both on the wrestling team type shit. With Tuka was on the wrestling team, I think OD was supposed to be hooping for, for the P. They say folks supposed to choke him up because Roro from TYMB was going there too. And uh, shit, I'm fucking came back later that day and killed Tuka. Tuka literally died later that day after the fight. That's why motherfuckers was like, shit, it wasn't hard to put the pieces together. Okay, because after that, there was rumors that she killed as many as 20 people. As many as 50 people is crazy. The stories are really wild, especially since she was a teenage girl on top of it. Oh, yeah, when, when she stabbed dude in the party, she jugged the stupid ass. <laughs> Yeah, she was a wild girl. She Jay. actually stabbed someone as yeah, well. Yeah, that she's at a party on MOB. That bitch went to the moon. She. <laughs> That's when she was a girl, though. That was her girl days when she hit my fucks with box cutters and and, and switchblades. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I think Kyra be a rapper right now. I think she'd be a a big ass rapper, like Young and Made or somebody on a folks grave. No funny shit. Everybody know Kyra be rapping about what she really lived. Motherfuckers know she be rapping that shit. I mean, the two of you were, were really close? That was my dog, man, you know? We was I like mean, Shag and Scooby. Was she just violent in general, or do you think that nah, those chain no, of events Kyra, caused Kyra her to be that? Kyra wasn't violent at first, gang. Kyra was actually a down-to-earth nice person, bro. But you got to think about it. Shorty, they, they got shot in the face. Tuka died. And like, it was a lot of shit going on in her life too fast. I don't know, like, when Jaro and Hadi and them, when they, when, when folks them from Jaro died, like, Kyra and them ain't really get no effect from that shit because it's like, I right, them the big guys from off the other side of the tracks. You feel me? But then when that's when motherfuckers in our inner crowd start getting shot, motherfuckers start dying. That's like, that shit, that shit would change anybody. That, that shit would make anybody change. You just don't usually see it with women. I mean, without naming any names, do you know any other girls that have the kind of reputation that K.I. had? Hell yeah. Really? So there's other girls that are shooters like this? Hell yeah. Okay. It's bitches, it's, I mean, it's real females out here in Chicago, all, not even just Chicago, all over the world that's real, they get busy. Like a nigga that come walk or come and walk a motherfucker down and motherfucker do it so good that you, they thought it was a nigga that did the whole time it was food and came up, went over there and spanked you. Are you playing? Well, in 2014, she was caught in a situation. Yeah, we, and you we, were actually there too. We was we was caught in the situation. Okay, tell me tell me what led up to this. I mean, you know, we was really out trolling earlier that day on first grade. 
And we was trolling earlier that day. We was trying to catch some. I put, shut even put the police on us though when we caught them in the restaurant. My own put the police on us. She even walked walk them down in front of the police though. The fuzz on me telling like crazy I'm like, boy, your ass cheating, girl, come on. Oh, folks, she for light that bitch up. They try to run in a restaurant. She for go on that bitch with them and the police and tell their ass down. Um, bro, crazy like for your ass cheating. Come on, show you. Whole time, but look the real, if look the real, wouldn't have been on FaceTime with them niggas. Them niggas wouldn't even know who we was, gang. We was up on them boys, um, bro. But look, so the day we ran from the police, had to put the pipes up, you know, tight shit. When the police finally did catch it, you know, they running our name. We on the police car, fool, and come spin that bitch, pointing at us. Okay. Police leave. Literally, like two minutes after police leave, fool hit the corner, thorn. Motherfucker can't tell me the police ain't had nothing to do with that murder. Oh my dear, I don't even sure. It's like it was like motherfucker called the police on us. Made sure we ain't had no pipes on us. Then came and slid on us. She got shot nine times. You got shot once in the leg. I had an artificial kneecap on bro to my ACL, shot at my knee bone. And you actually saw her getting getting shot those nine times. I, I, I was trying to run, bro. Trying to get away, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers putting that fire on you, shorty. I ain't really trying to watch nothing else is going on. I'm trying to see what's in front of me so I can go. So, bro, anything behind me mean I'm dying. But, but you're hearing the gunshots go off. Yeah, of course, you know. You get hit in the leg. Yeah. When do you realize that she gets hit? At the end, when I come off the side of the gangway from off the other side of the house. Uh, I'm lapping up the street. I see Kyra. That shit was, that shit was fucked up, shorty. That shit was crazy as hell. Oh, um, bro. That's your sister? That shit was crazy. Cause she was like, you hit? I'm like, yeah, she what? I'm in my leg. Oh, you hear she like, yeah, well, she like. Oh, she was, she was still talking at that point. Yeah. Oh. But, but she's been hit nine times at that point. Has she been shot before then? No. Uh -huh. Oh, that was the first time ever. Does she survive to the point of the ambulance getting her? Or... She survived all the way to the, to, the, to the hospital. I don't even know how Kyra died, bro. Kyra was cool, gang. Like, she on the porch like this. She sitting there. She like, she like, she like, she like, it hurt. I'm like, what hurt? She like, the one in my neck. Because she got hit right here. She like, this, she said, this the one that hurt it. She like, the, everything, she like, the one else hurt but this one. Uh, bro, she like, that bitch, the one on her neck. She's, that's the one she was saying was hurt. She was talking, though. She was talking to me and Cray Cray. The whole, now the whole block get to coming down now and shit. Everybody get to running down now and shit. Oh, bro. And I, I had to go. I, I, Cause I was on parole. And I had a parole or something like that. I had going back to the joint show. That shit over with. I'm going to go home and tell, I'm going to have my mama to play doctor. But not play doctor, cause that's what she do. I'm going to have my OG fix me up, boy. I got to get that leg back right now. Folks grade. But it ain't happen like that, boy. Michael fast and faint, passed out in the crib. Jay Man, him come that bitch smacking the shit out of me. Jay Man, like, boy, get the fuck up, boy. I'm took a pow, pow. He, boy, get the fuck up, boy. Open your eyes, boy. Open your eyes, because I, re I really lost too much blood, gang. Oh, um, bro, you got the guy that's too much. The bullet, too much ACL. Shot in my knee bone. In this, in this bone right here broke on this, the, you know, the other bone, on you know, the side of the bone. Oh, bro, I feel like I got an artificial kneecap right now. But, uh, man, my stupid ass should have went to the hospital. My stupid ass, I almost killed myself. I, I almost killed myself. Because you didn't want to go to the hospital? Because I didn't want to go to the hospital. I wanted to try to go. Do we see you want to go to jail? You want to go home? Yeah, I'm trying to go home. <laughs> I'm great. I tried to take, I didn't want to take my stupid ass home. I almost checked out, tweaking. How long after the shooting do you find out that she actually died? Uh, I had came out of surgery. The next day, 
probably later on in the night, the next day. Because when I asked OG, I'm like, man, what's up? What Kyra? OG like, man, Kyra was good. My mama was like, man, Kyra was good. Last time I just talked to her mama, she was going to surgery when you was going to uh, right, right, right before you had went to surgery. I'm like, all right, close my ass back. Open my shit back. I'm saying this bitch aggressive as hell on fourth grade. Like I done killed her. What get y'all ass the fuck back? On fourth grade, I'm saying that bitch tweaking with me. Then that's when I knew she was dead. I'm like, damn. And then that's when I snuck out the hospital. You left the hospital. Hell yeah. Because you thought that they were gonna try to finish the job. What? Fin who? They thought they were gonna finish the job with you. Who? Whoever killed. Boy, coming up to the on my home. I ain't on some real shit though. I'm I ain't, I ain't own nothing right now, bro. I'm on took I'm at I'm in a I'm in a space in life right on took a while. I'm been seeing a lot of peace and positivity going on in my life because my baby mama did. But back then, gang, on took it when I got out of surgery, I had nickel I had knick knack at under the pillow, boy. On my dear homie trigger up the nickel on him, Lil Mook three fifty seven on him. On my dear homie, I got dirty up the. Uh, Glock, Glock 14, drum and that bitch on my dead sister, white boy. I had some, I had a suicide squad up at the hospital, boy. Oh, folks, great. Bring your stupid ass on up here. So you left because you wanted revenge, not because you were worried that they might come I get you. I wasn't worried about no revenge, man. I just left because I needed to, I needed to clear my head. I, I wanted to get off the zen and pull up, and get off the zen, me and white boy and the guys with all the scraps was talking about what happened. Okay. I mean, how bad did that affect you at that point? Did you break down and, you know, when you heard about your sister dying? When I heard she was dead, it was like five people that died too that week. No, four people that died too that week. Then, what, two police, uh, two police officers got, got popped too on folks' grade. So, you know, I was feeling fucking great when I when I when I opened my eyes every morning. Cause somebody was getting their shit pushed back, blue. Oh, folks raid. Every day, every day on my dear homie, one up on my dear sister after Kyra died. It's like a lot of facades go facade going on. Like motherfuckers really get doing them too much credit on my dear homie, because cause a lot of my homies in jail on folks grave. And a lot of people is dead though. But a lot of people, folks them to die going to going to hit licks and doing goofy shit, rapping cars and folks them getting to each other, popping each other. Like a lot of my homies ain't even dead because of the officer. These niggas did because they the they are killing each other, squeaking high, right? But when it comes to them, like bro, yeah, my fuzz it got off, like but ain't no killing without killing, you know. That's you know, like and this is just like real life, gang. Like you can't cause a certain type of pain to a person, family and respect. I'm not going to cause that same type of pain back to yours. You feel me? That's slightly why I fell back from the streets. But I was. I was hurt, bro. I was hurt. I was hurt, but y'all hurt. Well, the situation around the shooting gets a little fuzzy. So at one point, the Cook County Attorney Office, they actually released paperwork. Right. And based on their investigation, concluded that King Vaughn was positively identified as the offender in the incident. But they felt they were unable to meet the burden of proof in court and formally rejected charges because they weren't me. able to find the murder weapon. Now, nigga, they ain't doing it because the, the identification didn't match the person. The victim told them a person, the shooter had a fucking birthmark and a missing tooth. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's what I, that was my statement. That's what I said. So you gave a statement yeah. on the shooter? Yeah. Hey, who did you see? Dark skin man, missing tooth, birth birthmark, or 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 something on his face. Okay, that's not King Von. It's not at all, <laughs> on any level. Hey, now look, you know the fans put a they no really though because when the paperwork was le released, you know what I'm saying. People try to piece and puzzle together who what they think they know of, what who they think they know or who they think did it, but then. But the description didn't match, so they couldn't pick Vaughn up because the victim is giving out a whole different description. Now, because there was a female on the case, right? And this same female, she she took the stand and duck case, right? <laughs> and 
Shout out sis, I ain't gonna say her name. Put that ain't never put that in harm's way. But on my home, nah, cause a lot of people don't know she just she you know. But look, sis wasn't having that shit. Sis was trying to get shorty ass cooked and booked. She, her, Kyra mama and them, like even Kyra mama, she stopped talking to me and shit over that shit. Like the fact that Vaughn was even going around telling motherfuckers he did it, they felt like, oh, so if you want to see people, you killed her. Now you can go to jail for it. But I just felt like shit, as much as shit that motherfuckers do out here on bro, it's like, all right, whatever. Motherfuckers gonna get him. You know what I'm saying? Shit get, shit happens. You know? Okay. And his karma was fucked up. He got, he made it all the way to the top and died. And died's like, and now he not even probably at peace where he at. For real, for real, because who a lot of people don't then not, not, uh, never forgive Vaughn for a lot of the shit he did. I'm not one of those people. I'm not one of those people, you know what I'm saying? If Vaughn did kill Kyra and shoot me on Tula, I'm not one of the people that don't forgive shit. I forgive on my own. So you forgive Vaughn for anything he's done in relation to anyone that you know? Yeah. Like That's mature of you. I want some real shit, bro. The man, we got the same amount of kids right now, right? My kids are older. Granted, I have old my kids are way older than his, right? I think I got more kids than her. Cause I'm at a nickel. He he had five too, ain't he? What four? I'm not sure. He had girls were pregnant when he died and stuff like that. Oh so. yeah, 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 yeah. But how you know a lot of them ain't even his kids and shit. You know everybody. Everybody wants you to be your big motherfuckers. That's my baby daddy. He's fucking me too. You feel me? You know how that shit go. Yeah, they're saying he has three, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Well, I got more kids than him. But I, I on some real shit. I wish the man was here to raise his kids. Gang, okay? on some real guy. I be seeing Caleb B with his son, but the older son, I think the little boy probably like. He ain't, the little boy ain't, ain't no older than probably like seven, eight years old. They gotta be calling him Lil Vaughn and shit. Hmm. It's like, in my head, I be like, damn. But fuck in my head, this is how I feel about it. Like when I hit up a Lil Vaughn, granted, that's his, 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 he is his daddy's son. But damn, y'all don't want him to be better than his fucking daddy gang. Y'all don't want this little boy to be doing the same shit his daddy just died doing. That's crazy. Yeah. That's stupid as hell. Even with for the little boy who Vaughn used to call his godson, the little boy who used to mentor, who looked up to him. It's like I be watching his, I be watching it, I be watching Shorty. Right? And I be looking like, damn, cause Shorty be getting high, he be doing a lot of shit. That, a lot, the little boy be doing a lot of shit, Shorty. He be off the Zans. And I be just thinking like, what the fuck is his parents doing? Cause my son, my my son fucking Fit it be 13, right? You think I'm letting my son get high? Break his motherfucking jaw, I catch him smoking some weed, boy. I ain't gonna buy him, gang. Well, at one point, your baby mother actually shot you. Yeah, yeah, man. You guys got into a physical altercation. Yeah. And she shot you with your own gun? <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny. <laughs> it's just kind of ironic. You know what I'm saying? It's irony. In a way. You, know, you like actually you blamed it, yourself. Uh, it is. It's totally my fault. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, and that's what I was finna go to. You know what I'm saying? That reflects on, you know what I'm saying? Man, as a man, I shouldn't even reflect it to violence anyway with her. Right? I shouldn't even put my hands on that girl while she was eight months pregnant. So when she popped my goof fat, I Oh, she was eight months pregnant Yeah, she time. was pregnant with my daughter. Yeah, you, you were wild. Yeah, I was bogus. I was bogus. Yeah. I was half the Zans, man. You were high. Nigga, I got a Zan man tattooed on me, man. I was half that shit. You ain't a tattoo fucked up. Look, I ain't even let him finish because I was high <laughs> off the Zans, man. You know what I'm saying? I was doing a lot of fucked up shit off the Zans. That shit had me fucked up, bro. Where did she shoot you? In my, in my leg. Okay. Yeah, man. Right here. Yeah, I mean, right here. you obviously didn't press charges, but did she get arrested for the shooting? Nah, hell no. So you just... Told the police, man, they came through this bitch blowing. Who? I don't know. A black I don't cop. know. 
Black guy. Did you guys work it out after your daughter was born and everything? Man, nah, we worked that out in the hospital. She came up to that. <laughs> How's that conversation like? I'm sorry I shot you, but you shouldn't have hit me. Then she came in, she was crying and stuff. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I love you. I'm crying and shit. I love you. I took, I love you. Yo, no, man. I'm I've just, heard of toxic relationships before, but this right here. I'm like, takes you guys poppy. I love you. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I ain't, I'm she crazy for me. Yeah, Blueface and Chris Chow ain't got nothing on y'all. Man, rest in peace, Destiny, man. That was my dog. And her birthday was the day after, man. My birthday September 20th. Her birthday September 21st. Well, how'd she die? She OD'd off off a fake perk. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Fentanyl, like, that's oh, why. Oh, she I, died off fentanyl. Yeah, Damn. she was one of the people who died in the in that fentanyl uh, uh, pandemic in uh, 2020, uh, uh, 2021, 2020. Ah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've, she I've was, lost people on fentanyl. She was one of the females, because you know they said uh, it was uh, 1,500 females that that had uh, OD'd off, off fentanyl, off the yeah. opioids or whatever. And, uh, and she was one out of the... Uh, yeah, rest in peace, uh, Gangster Boo from 36 Mafia. That was oh, my yeah, friend. Damn. She died off of fentanyl, too. Yeah, that was my... I ain't gonna lie, man. I like her. I, 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 I like her. I, I like her parts and all the songs. Yeah, no, she, mm -hmm. she was the shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe that bitch get cut. No, no. Yeah. If you will, why? Let me stop playing off. Seriously, though, that shit was that was real hit. That shit still turning turn the club up. I'm like, mama, stop playing. That shit come on in the club. What? Motherfuckers in that bitch. You got dreads. Motherfuckers that bitch. My shit too long to be doing that shit. I, motherfuckers be shake your dreads. Dread here. Sit your stupid ass down. Bitch, my shit down my back. You talking about shake my dreads. So this shit can keep smacking me in my motherfucking face. <laughs> Wrap it all up in my chains. You want you want this shit in my mouth, huh? Just <laughs> sit your stupid ass down and let me look good. My shit already nappy. When did you end up hooking up with that Fiji Duck? Man, I knew Duck since the nineties. We I like I knew Duck my whole life for whole real. Life. Well, you you have a, a baby with Duck's sister? I got two kids. Two kids with yeah, Duck's sister. Okay. Okay, I see you did your homework. Right. Because that research shit don't be working. It don't give you so much when you do your research. So you got to dig in, go do your exactly. homework, study. Hit them books, Tony. Got to hit them fucking books, Tony. No, okay. no seriously, y'all. Y'all last about to pick the books up, man. Y'all, about it's, it's keys to life and society inside these books, man. Do your fucking homework, baby. And you became part of FBG, which is Flyboy Gang. Yeah, for sure. I'm a fly boy. You, know you FBG Duck, FBG Brick. King Yella. Man, Yella Boy is not FBG, bro. Well, he was at one point. No, he was not. Oh, he never was. No, that okay, nigga my from bad. Skeezy. That brother is from Skeezy World, bro. Okay, my bad. He's Skeezy gang 70, 075, 079, whatever he was claiming, because you know he was claiming all a lot of that shit, right? Well, he said it before? Who? Yella. Yeah, he wouldn't claim FBG, though. He's never claimed FBG. He can't. God, you're going to claim FBG, bro. He paid to be with us. He paid for a feature, bro. Okay. In the video shoot. Man. Got it. His cousin was the engineer. That's how he was even able to get around us. Because his cousin, like, damn, hey, I got some money on the floor for you, little Jay and Duck. My cousin want a feature. You know what I'm saying? He got a couple of dollars. Folks, man, you know what I'm saying? I charge three. Tell him, give me 350. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They came out 350, 350 the fool for that song. And they made him pay for the video. Uh, Billionaire Black? I ain't gonna lie, Billy FBG, but folks were ultra real, for sure. But he one of ours, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Wooski? One of ours, original. Cash? The original. Dutchie Young? Them the originals right there, Dutchie and Young. You know what I'm saying? Me, Dutchie Young, and shout out to my boy Ills. You know what I'm saying? There's a few other FBG members like Cole and them that people don't even speak on. Like, it's people from FBG that really don't get speak on because everybody in FBG are not rappers. You know what I'm saying? We are an entertainment group, and everybody have an entertainment, that everybody play a role in this entertainment group that we establish ourselves with fly, as Flyboy Gang. We got role managers. We got motherfuckers that help make sure folks got on drip down severe for his video shoots or at least got a spot to go to. Like, it's a lot of people in LBG. It's a lot of people behind the scenes that's played these roles. Okay, so 2015, you're around 21 years old. You and Lil J got into a serious situation. Yeah. Tell me about what happened. 
man, we, I ain't gonna lie, it's a real business. Like, I really felt like that, because we supposed to get up with White Boy, Big Brother. FBG White Boy. Day. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, White Boy. Done to my shorty was ridiculous. Like, he made sure we all was good, though. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, we we really just, we started the day off just like I asked any other day, bro. Lil J was here at a studio session later that night. We was going to go shoot a video. We was going to go meet with White Boy, go, because White Boy got the big houses and shit. You know what I'm saying? So we feel like I had a White Boy crib with the little birds. Yeah, have chill until it's time to shoot the video. So we stopped at the gas station. We grabbed the two liters of squares and stuff, blunts. So we get ready and go and go shoot out to the suburbs, to White Boy house. You know, so we end up running into our victim. My victim, he, he you know what I'm saying? He trying to make him a couple dollars right now. You're talking about Philmon and Razine. Razine is, the, is that's that's Blood. Blood is the one who passed. He got, right. he got the crazy name. But Mook is Philmon, right? I don't even know Mook's real name, for real. I think his name Mook. I don't know. I forgot his name. The guy real name. But you know, he trying to make him a little money right now. So you know what I'm saying? He been talking to the internet. You know what I'm saying? He said, he said, motherfucker been lying on him. He said he ain't got no statement on us. He never made no statement on us. And we trying to rob him. We came to his house trying to rob him. His ass lying. The man said we tried to steal. We was in the phone. We was in the convenience store trying to, trying to sell us some, uh, some stolen phones. Bro, on my brother's game, I ain't never stole no phone game. I ain't never in my life. Stole the phone and sold the phone, gang. I never snatched and ran. I never did none of that stupid ass shit. Bitch, if I'm broke, I'm gonna come kick your door and snatch your flash screen off your wall, though. Now I go sell that to the pawn shop or something. Now snatching the phone is crazy, bro. They don't even buy all phones. Folks, now I gotta think about it when the guys used to steal phones, they used to be having like 10, 15 phones in their pocket. They didn't hit these three for, for like 10 days, at least two months, because they don't nobody want to buy that shit. You feel me? Well, I want the money that I'm going to get the shit that I know for a fact. When I take your shit, bitch ass, I can go sell your shit to him. Like this watch right here, this my stoli, bro. It ain't real. It ain't, this ain't, this one ain't. But this one, see, the plain Jane, that's my grown man, Cartier, right here. You know what I'm saying? You know, this the real whoop right here. Let's start there. Yeah, I got a real watch on, but I got a real car. Yeah, I could I could have went bust down, but I like playing because I got the stole. You see what I'm saying? Stoli. I like I like to get shit that's high volume. A okay. phone is not high volume, gang. But the man try to say we try to steal it. We try to sell some phones and shit. But in real life, he was on some fan groupy shit. Well, here's what the report said. Right. Lil J, Razine. And a group went to go purchase some weed from a 22-year-old man, but an argument ended up erupting. The group left, came back with a firearm provided by Razine's girlfriend, Young. The 22-year-old was shot four times, but was also armed and fired back at Razine, who was struck several times. Little Jay Young, Lane Calhoun, and you were arrested. Yeah. And then... Uh, they also arrested Dupree after spotting her leaving Lil J's apartment with a bag of handguns, including the two used in the shooting. And Razine ended up dying on May 15th. Yeah. That's the story. Yeah. So now you get arrested and you're being charged with a murder. Yep. Started off as a temp. And then uh, yeah, once Blood died, it was a murder. They charged us with his murder. And that was so crazy. I, that, that was your friend. That was our friend, bro. Yeah. But you're being charged because they're saying you're an accessory yeah, to the they whole saying, situation. They saying it's what we were charged with was felony murder, which had, had I fought my case a little longer and kept studying my case, I would have came home, right? Because it wasn't a felony murder. Our victim was lying. Our victim, in his, in his dying declaration, he stated that we came, was trying to buy some weed from him and tried to rob him, and he had to shoot to protect himself, right? But that never took place, because the only way for it to be felony murder, right, it had to be a, it had to be a felony 
and it makes up a felony and murder occur, that's the only way they can charge us with felony murder, right? We supposed to get charged with murder. Premeditated murder. That's exactly how it is supposed to be. First degree premeditated because we left after he pulled this gun out on us. We left and went and got our guns, right? So if anything, it's supposed to be premeditated murder in real life. Mm -hmm. It. But we, uh, we ain't, a lot of people do. We, we, we get our stuff wrapped up in situations and we don't understand the law and stuff like that. So they able to charge us with counts and stuff like that, that really not even stickable. But due to the fact of us not really knowing the laws, we like, okay, what the fuck? How, what did I do? How do I get out of that shit? So in my head, I'm like, damn. Y'all charging us with folks murder is crazy as hell. And them two niggas shot each other. So I had to figure that out. That was something that I really had to figure out. Like, so I tell my lawyer, I bet has we get charged with it. And they shot each other. Right, but that happens. Like, for example, the, like, the guy who killed Tupac, Orlando Anderson. Yeah. He got caught up in a triple murder. I mean, he died in a triple murder, and his friend got charged with all three murders, including damn. the one of Orlando, who was like his best friend. Damn. This is, if you're, if you're in the situation of a crime and people die, they're going to blame the, the surviving people. Yeah. On the, all the murders, unfortunately. Yeah. I, I'm not saying this is fair. This is just how the rules they, they, are they, laid out. They're going to charge the aggressive side with all the murders. Right. So say, for instance, if we wasn't aggressive, because it come off as us being aggressive, hey, he came shooting at us at, at the store when he first walked up on us, and that shit took place, his ass was going to jail. Right. And he would have been in jail for more than just him shooting blood. He would have been in that for the temp murder on the girls. Mm -hmm. All that shit, because he had ups on us. We had to go get our gun. Well, you were held on $250,000 bond. Yeah. Uh, Lil J had a $750,000 yeah. bond. And so now you guys are both in jail, waiting on the situation. In 2017, Lil J said that you were testifying against him. Shit. As much shit he didn't put me through shit, I might as well told him, I might as well testified on his ass. I, I still I still would have came home from the looks of things, I still would have came home, been butter, and probably wouldn't be as it is. Now people know say probably be a little sticky had I testified on, right? She never testified against Hell no, nah, man. He ain't do shit. The man the man ain't never get out the car. <laughs> but he's being charged with a murder. Along with you. Uh, they charged me too. Okay, so what ha uh, What, what uh, ultimately uh, happened? Did they drop the charges or did you plead out? I copped out. To what? F uh, uh, conspiracy. Okay, and the, how much uh, time did you get eight, for that? Eight at 50. Hit that in. Eight years at 50%, so it's so four, four years. years. Okay, so how but long? I hit, but I did five and a half because I was already fighting another case. Aha. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? So you got five and a half years. So, yeah, I ended up doing five and a half. But you got, you played it out to four. What did Lil J get for that? Is Lil J got seven. Now he got 12. Lil J got 12 because, now Lil J got nine. Shinda got 12. Lil J got nine because he was on a test of probation already for getting caught with five guns when the police ran in the crib for New Year's because he was shooting on the back porch. Two days after New Year's, he wanted to sh still shoot his gun for New Year's because he was sitting in the hospital on New Year's Day. So when he got out the hospital, he wanted to let his, his guns off and went to jail with all our guns, bro. We was out there pipeless and tour with the guys and the ops at the time too. So you know what I did? I took my scary ass to the birds. Uh, yes, I did. Fuck you talking about. Ain't no gun out here. We ain't got no pipes. So I ran to the suburbs, bro. I ran to the suburbs, bro. I went out there with white boy. You feel me? And was sitting out there at white boy crib. I was out there at it with Duddy or Peppy them. Cause I'm thinking in my head, the ops or the guys ain't gonna come looking for me up north or in the suburbs. You feel me? But shit, I was cool. Okay. That fucked us up though. Yeah. 2017, I do my first FBG Duck interview. Classic. 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 That's the one you drinking lean and kind of starts to get more and more high, kind of as the interview progresses. There we go. <laughs> and I remember in that interview, he's telling me about 
the time he's got shot and, and anything else like that. And I'm saying, yo, you need to move out of Chicago. And he's like kind of arguing with me, like, nah, I'm good. Like, I know how to move and it's not going, you know, I'm not going to get shot again. I know this and that. Okay, so, so what I'm saying is you see a lot of a lot of Chicago artists who just leave Chicago. You know, mm-hmm. why, why stay in Chicago when these types of shootings are happening? See, what it is with me, like, I got more in Chicago probably than they got more in Chicago. Like, it's shit that I got to make sure I take care of here first before I do anything. Like, you feel me? Like, and plus, I ain't I ain't the type of motherfucker that want to go move to another city because I don't, I don't trust nobody. You feel me? I don't trust new people. I don't want to hang around new people. I don't want no new friends. Cause I don't trust nobody. Yeah, my fuck could turn fake on you anywhere. You can die anywhere. You can get shot anywhere. You feel me? But it's just like in Chicago, I know better. You feel me? Like I know what to do and what don't to do and what not to do. You feel me? And it's like now how I move around, shit. I'm safe. You feel me? I ain't gonna say too much, but you know what I'm saying? I'm groovy. 2018, I do another. He had got FPG shot in the shoulder by then. He had gotten shot and he had gotten shot again, I think. Yeah, in the show. His brother had just gotten killed. Yeah. FPG Brick. Yep. Once again, I say, okay, let me let me double down on what I said last time. You need to move out of Chicago. Yeah. And he's telling me the same thing. He's arguing with me. Are the two of you having this conversation during this time like, Maybe yeah. you should uh, move out of Chicago because uh, at that point, Duck yeah. is the biggest. He the biggest name out of. He's all the like, biggest name out of FBG yeah. clearly because Slide is a big Everything song and he had signed it. a deal and people are fucking with him. But you guys are actively still going at it, yeah, you know, with the, the old block guys, yeah, with the old block ends, you know. But even even the guys was telling Duck to leave, and he was like, his 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 thing with us would be, why leave my city? to go to somebody else's city and I probably had to deal with the same thing but something worse because motherfuckers thinking off the check in or they're going to store me. That's not true. You move to the suburbs, you move to Calabasas where I live or where Chief Keith went to go live. Yeah. No one's checking you for nothing. You're, you're hanging out, you're going to the mall. It's, it, it's not like that. Th- these situations don't happen. Yes, occasionally, every so often. I mean, but you know, he, he was a street nigga so you know, naturally, even when he would have took all that money and went up bought him a big house somewhere out here, right? And naturally, his street instinct gonna put him somewhere in the street environment around street niggas. You see no, what I'm not saying? Not necessarily, man. He drink I, lean, I, I, gang. I'm gonna tell you, like... He drink lean. Your enemies aren't buying plane tickets and traveling to go get you somewhere. It's not happening. That's not what happens. Nah. These are usually crimes of opportunity. Yeah. You just happen to see the person or someone tells you they're nearby. Yeah. No one's going to tell you, hey, FBG Butters in Arkansas. Okay, let me go book a ticket to Arkansas and be- hang out in Arkansas and see if I can bump into him one day. Like, no, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, he's so-and-so on this street. It's 10 minutes from where you are. This, that, and the third. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, I really wish he had listened to me. Yeah, me too. Shit. Yeah. So... FPG Duck drops dead bitches. Right. When you heard that song, what'd you think? I'm like, shit, this the, is this the new slide. No funny shit. I'm like, he back. Because if, if everybody really pay attention to it, then this is why I say, when I heard it, I'm like, oh yeah, he, he back. This the new slide. Because all his music before that song, was all, it was, they was great songs, but they was like soul burning. See, like, he had soul burn, leave me alone. Like, a lot of the songs uh, that mama, like, the, the shit he was dropping wasn't that gangster shit. Folks was dropping all that. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was burning our soul, though, because this shit he talking, bro, that, well, he, cause he was singing it technically, but the shit he was singing, cause he started singing, bro, after Brick and Kobe died. 
A lot of the songs he was doing was like number singing songs. Him and Lil Chris from out west. They, that's like that's all he was doing. Right. And he was making that music. Some of that shit it was like, man, what the fuck, folks. I mean, Chicago kind of started off on this whole dissing the dead, smoking your enemies type wave, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, pardon. I mean, when you heard that song, did you think that this is going to be a problem or is like, fuck it, this is what we're doing anyways? No, nah, when I heard that song, like, I really did think like that's our next slide. Like, I'm out fucks for to get him a new deal. Okay, you just he, like, he, he's going to get a again. new deal. He's going to get a bigger bag. Nah, I mean, I'm going to know I'm going to be on this tour because I came home at the end of his other tour in 2019. I came home at the end of his tour, but that bitch was boss. When I say boss, that bitch was boss. Okay, well, that song drops and it's making a lot of noise. Yeah. That bitch did 10, they 10 million. In. 10 million quick. 10 million. Right, is that like, like 62 million right now? 10 million in like literally like two days or yeah. a day or something like that. Somebody got to do a look up to uh, the Jesus or something. So then he's out shopping at the Gold Coast, which is the equivalent of like Rodeo Drive in LA. It's all like high end designer clothes and everything else like that. And he was with his girl at the time. Sneaky like. His girlfriend ain't Jasmine. Right. His girlfriend ain't Jasmine. He was with a Sneaky Link. His baby mom. Yeah, Sneaky Link. And a bunch of guys pull up, open fire right there in broad daylight. He gets shot. The girl, I think, returns fire. Someone else, I think, a bystander gets killed. Yeah. He gets shot. He gets shot. He ends up dying on the scene. When you heard that news, what did you think? I was in jail, so it was crazy because mm. I was in uh, Stateville. When it happened, I was in NRC. I was, bro, waiting to get shipped out to my joint. And uh, Duck, brother, big brother, was working the trades. And uh, he came, he was like, uh, hey, butter. He come, wake me up, boom, 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 beating on my little, on my chucky. Hey, boy, get up. I'm thinking he's give me some more free food or some shit. I'm thinking he's give me some extra food because he, he get treacherous down in, in Stateville with NRC, boy, boy, way to go to that new joint or see the parole, boy, my homie. So I'm thinking he's to give me some new food. I mean, give me some more food. He, boy, they just killed, he, boy, they killed dogs. But I ain't going to lie, I'm in my sleep. I thought he said, boy, they just killed young. And I'm like, they just killed young. He like, nah, nigga, they just killed duck, boy. I mean, you lying, boy. Hey, man, I was just on the phone with my little brother, though. My mama, he like, my mama all of them up at the hospital right now, they crying. He like, nigga, they say duck dead, boy. I just got back in my bum, put the cover on my head, went back to sleep. Cause I'm like, man, that shit ain't real. I'm duck, don't even move like that. Feel me, I'm, I'm waiting till the phone call. Phone come later, I call, nobody has, nobody has. I call my little silly bird named Donye. I'm um, bro, I man, what's going on? Fuck, ain't nobody picking up the phone out there. She like, man, she, you can't get mad. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. I'm like, man, motherfucker say my homie did, boy. What the fuck? What's to that? She like, what? I'm like, yeah, a nigga just came to my cell and said, Doug died, boy. She like, yeah, Doug did die. She like, that's why ain't nobody answering the phone for you. They don't want you to know. That shit, that shit broke me. My cellar young probably the older dude in the cell with me. He was in like his late forties. He was like, he started crying with me. He was like, damn man. He's like, boy, I'm, I'm in my head. I'm looking back like, fuck is he crying for? Cause now, I want, now I need somebody to take my anger out on folks' grave, bro. Uh, nah, I'm a name. That would just kill my homie, boy. He kill my big brother. Fuck is this nigga sitting in the corner crying for? I beat his old ass in this cell, um, bro. And then he like, man. I'm a real FBG Duck fan. I'm a real FBG Duck fan. Hmm. Y'all love Duck, boy. Y'all love him. And I ain't gonna lie. He knew I'm, I'm that bitch. Motherfucker, hey, but uh, hey, rap that shit that one song Duck just made. Hmm. Motherfucker, I'm rapping all Duck shit on the, on, on the gallery. He in the seat rapping that shit with me, though. So when he like, he crying, it's like, I'm a real FBG Duck fan. I'm a real Duck fan. I'm like, I can't even take off from this nigga. Hmm. 
I'm like, this nigga really is a real fan. I'm like, on some real shit, because he knew who I was off the video of me when I first came home. He like, damn, boy, you got little as hell. And in my head, I'm thinking like, damn, I've been in the joint with this nigga already. But he like, man, you was in that Duck Pain video. He was like, uh, with Duck, say, I do anything. He said, he said, uh, he he rapped the he, he just rapped the shit to me. But Duck was like, everything that I do is for my brother Bees. And the camera, they they come on me for that whole scene. And dude was like, boy, you was in this bit, you was in that bitch fat as hell, boy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you know, he that's a real that's a real fan. I can't even beat him up in this bitch. I'd be bogus as hell. Yeah, man, I, I was depressed because yeah. I I'd interviewed him twice. And like I said, I was telling him he should move. Yeah. And had he listened, we, we'd be having an interview right now. Yeah, you know, he probably, be, I was going to say, he probably be up here right now with me at this exactly. interview. No bullshit. Exactly. No bullshit. And, and then, you know, I did the first interview with, with his mom. Yeah. Mama sure. Duck. And, you know, and she's crying and talking yeah. about the whole situation and everything else like I'm that. I'm cried out, bro. I was real shit like that's why I keep looking up at the ceiling, cause like I really, I'm, I'm crying out with this shit, like, and motherfuckers really like, oh yeah, he, 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 he stopped, he stopped game banging, cause they ducking that shit, or he stopped game banging, cause his ass the police, shorty, oh my dear, such a shorty, none of that is the reason why I stopped game banging, not, I, none of that shit even close to the reason I said fuck that shit. My daughter is the reason I said fuck that shit. And then there was my homie he just died going downtown shopping for his son. I'm boy, I gotta, I gotta fall back. I gotta fall back like this motherfucking ball cap, Joe. You feel me? On some real shit. Well, the shooting happens. He passes away. And a certain amount of time, well, years kind of pass. And then a bunch of people get arrested for his murder. I think like a year, uh, a year after his a year, death. It was like a year and a half or something. Year and a half, it, was, yeah. it was a while, uh, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't right away. It wasn't right away. Right. Because Shorty and them, they had a nice little run. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They were still dirty as hell. See murder, Kenny Mack, Los, See Thing, Muwap, and Teezy get arrested for his murder. Uh, they start calling him the O Block Six. Man, I ain't gonna lie, they, that shit's so stupid, bro. All them brothers just lost their life because of Teezy made up a story. He lied, gang. The man lied, bro. It said Duck was down there with four people with, with switches on them chasing him. Oh, that was the premise of the uh, of the situation. Okay. okay. That shit just, it's stupid as fuck, bro. Like, every time I think about the shit, like, every time I, I, I go back on it, it's like, all oh, because folks is fucking your girlfriend? Because in real life, how many times, the motherfucker don't even know how many times this boy didn't actually seen Duck or been around a motherfucker. They knew what, they all knew what Duck was, right? But when you found out that yo, that yo, the bro really fucking your bitch, you get him killed. Lying, talk, you call the officer, tell the officer he down here with four motherfuckers chasing you with guns. Well, there was a rumor that there was a hundred thousand dollar price on his head. The bounty was there, right? right? And that, the whatever, rumor was that King Von was the one that put the money up. That's the rumor, man. Listen, man. Have, have you heard about the bounty, man? Did you guys know about it before? We he never died? heard about that shit, Shorty. I mean, a motherfucker called first, it was 30,000. We heard about that shit. But Duck was too big for a 30. Duck wasn't even doing shit in the streets for a motherfucker to put 30, put a hundred, a hundred fifty thousand dollars on Duck is crazy. Well, the, the guys who got, who, who got arrested, Look, you, do you personally know him. any of them? Dirty is a C, 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 C murder. You know C murder? Yeah, man, all the rest of them is kids. Right, cause C murder, I mean, now is 32 at the time, he was like 29. All the rest of them is kids, little ass boys, man. Right, uh, because yeah, C thing was twenty one, Muwap was twenty one. Yeah, man, these are guys in their early twenties. TZ was a little older. C thing, I mean, sorry, Los was a little older. C murder was a little older. 
but they get arrested. Stupid as shit ever. Life gone over a lot. And then we fast forward to the trial. Yeah, that, that was wicked. Okay. I'm a real upstanding guy. You would have taken the stand. I did. It's fucked up to say it like that. But on my homie, nigga, I took that bitch, right? Okay, so number, I, bro, number one. Okay, I but almost you, got a peach, gang. Before you go on. All right. When they reached out to you to testify, what exactly do they want out of you taking the stand? Because sure. it's not like you were there or you're a sure, witness. So they got locked up, first and foremost. They, I was going to go my ass back to jail on a federal offense and uh, 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 fight some shit I ain't do, gang, right? Because food and them locked up. But they want to come home, right? And I've been saying this shit for years, gang. For years, I've been telling motherfuckers, like, anytime the ops get locked up, watch what I tell y'all. One of us gonna go to jail behind them for old murder. Huh. Right? Oh, because they're gonna cooperate to try to get out. It's time to go home. We wanna go to jail, you wanna go home, right? And it was one, nigga, only reason they even came to me in the first place, dude, 52 shootings is crazy. That's how many bullets? No, man, that's how many times my motherfucking name got brought up in shootings. 52 times. <laughs> yeah, that's why they came and snatched me. Because fooled them and fooled them. Everybody got a story. Huh. Bitch, I don't even know if it was me. It could have been Lil B. It could have been Kyra. We all look alike. They just say butter because everybody don't like butter. I, 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 I used to be hot as hell. For, okay, I, I put that one on myself. I was a little hot ass nigga out there. But gang, what the fuck, bro? Like... So shit, I ain't, I ain't gonna bap like shit. It was a, that was a, a dem of me moment. And of course I choose myself. Fuck you to me, on folks gray. I don't even know them, let's start there. On Tuka, but I ain't gonna say it like that because I wouldn't have had to choose myself have, had, had they asked not brought me up, right? And then on top of that, on Tuka, they wanna do what I did. I choose myself and choose the Go almost go my goofy ass back to jail because now it's time for me to take the stand for real. Mm -hmm. And now I'm nowhere to be found for like four, five days. I'm high. My goof ass, they come snatch me. My mother move, think I'm, I'm front of my boo. I ain't got a location on. I ain't got a phone. Mm. I finally do get my shit back after a day of sitting in that bitch. I say, babe, I'm in jail, gang. She had you in jail and you calling from your phone. I said, well, I'm sitting in the interrogation room you in the federal building. You might as well say I'm in fucking jail. Mm. She damn, they caught you. Yeah, yeah. They called my, they got up with my goof ass. So, you know what I'm saying? They held me in that bitch until I took the stand. Feel Now I get up there. I almost get up the judge for the peach my goof ass. I mean, I front my shit. I done recanted my statement on my dead homie. Only the only person that ain't none of these lawyers, Muwap lawyer didn't cross them. Nobody lawyer cross examine me, but motherfucking um, what's the little nigga name, man? Uh, C thing. No, no, C thing. Yeah, C thing. That's shorty with the dreads, right? That's the one with the dreads. His lawyer is the one who cross examined me because he had. He started off with he 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 was the first one to start off with his shit, you know what I'm saying with the uh with with the opening argument, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, um bro, and uh he had just opened the, the wrong way, gang. It was like the man wasn't even fighting for the man for real, for real, gang. No bullshit. I call him out on his bullshit. I say, damn, that's your opening argument, gang. I'm mean, you suck dick in here. I'm mean, you a terrible ass lawyer, on Tuga. That's flat out how I see it. When I dig run my when the transcripts hit the streets, so that I ain't bite my I'm took a lot of them. It's your opening heart, right, man. You you suck dick. The man tried to sue me and everything, but you know what? I sued his ass back. Oh my homie, shorty. He was in that bitch uh on took grade. This is what I I this is my I, Cause he kept calling me a snitch. He kept saying a lot of unprofessional things on two grade. If anything, a professional lawyer is supposed to say government uh, cooperator, but he was talking about snitch, rat. The little jokes he was trying to tie beef and Pepsi, he tried to crack that. So, you know what I'm saying? You are a Kelly lawyer. And I take it as on two, you a big time lawyer. Everybody know who you is, right? So, you, was, you folks, he, he, he assassinated my character on folks grade. For real, for real. Well, Chicago Sun-Times did an article 
about this whole court case situation. Right. And your name came up. But, uh, and they said, Wilton, your, yeah, your, yeah. your real last name, yeah. conceded in open court that King Von, superstar rapper and alleged old black leader, right. had killed his sister, K.I., right. by standing over her and shooting her repeatedly. Right. That's what they said I said. But then what I actually said, what I actually said was, man, I don't know who I saw. They say, but you said, I said, no, I'm a psych patient. My lawyer told y'all don't talk to me. <laughs> Oh, too great. This is a real fact. This is how I come at these people. I like motherfuckers only get into one side of the story. Motherfucker ain't really get cut. I tell them through the door. Anything that y'all talk to me about in 2016 while I was in a fucking psych ward do not count. It they tell you that when you coming in that bitch. Anything you say to this patient, you cannot use. You know that, right? Wait, well, he, he's heavily under medication. He's just in a psych ward. Um, bro, do y'all homework on FBG Butter being in a psych ward. <laughs> right. Well, it said uh, Wilton's testimony came after he made public statements claiming Vaughn hadn't killed his sister, something he had, he said he did to avoid breaking the no snitch code on the street. He changed the story after Vaughn was killed in an apparently unrelated shooting months after Duck was gunned down. As long as Vaughn was walking the earth, Wilton said, I never mentioned that man's name on no police shit. I did. I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Even with this description. Because when Fool them gave the description, I said, shit, man got, got a missing tooth with a mold on his face. Boy, that ain't fine, man. Vine hit all his teeth. The hoes actually liked his smile. Like, like, like they like mine. No funny shit. I got to be real. Be, and it be, that's before his grill, gang. Oh, um, bro, shorty always had a nice set of teeth, gang. You real facts. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Trench's news. That's my I, oh, man. Trench's news took the stand as well. Trench's news. He the reason. Oh, he he part of the reason why he became a snatch me too. Cause you know he said he was selling all allegedly. He was selling man. That man ain't never sold me nothing to dead his fucking life. Okay, do you know who Trench's news is? Yeah, I know who the fuck that weirdo is. Okay, weird ass he, he apparently, I guess it came out that he was a paid informant as well. Shit for the man over a decade is insane, Joe. I ain't, I ain't get paid. Cause you said as well, like I got paid, bro. I ain't get paid, bro. Cause I actually asked where my money at. They gave that nigga 175,000 to give me some money, shit. I know I recanted my statement, but damn. <laughs> Fuck. I, I'll take 5,000, shit. Well, y'all got the people looking at me crazy anyway. Motherfuckers think the feds paid me. I don't judge all them people ain't paid me nothing, bro. The worst thing that happened to my daughter, boy. God, cause I ain't no real informant, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not wearing no white on my homie now. I'm not. I'm not portraying to get into a game to get the information for the fucking police. Oh, folks, you're on some real shit. They come to me with some shit like that and tell me to do some shit like that. Y'all ass can come find me a fucking somewhere where you can't expedite. Oh my dear, help me. I go to Russia. I'm, 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 I heard it's a back wall. I heard it's a back way to Russia yeah. where you can walk. I would go on the ass. Uh, don't play with me. No, I'm just like, I'm stuff. Or am I? Ultimately, the old block six were found guilty of murder. They haven't been sentenced yet, but they're all facing mandatory life sentences. When you heard that all six of them got life sentences, or it was are, crazy. are about to get life sentences, but have all been found guilty. Did that bring some sort of closure to Man, your friend dying? No. Man, that shit pissed me out, cuz. You want me to tell you why it made me mad? Why? Because nigga, I was just finna go back to jail for these niggas. And I, I so you telling me I, I already got a peach for them to still get found guilty. But then I am. And you know what? Motherfuckers didn't tell the world. Right? Teasy. I mean, no, no, no. What's the tall, the tall one from the old block six? The big, he, the young, he taller. He, he was seats. There is. C murder, Kenny Mack, low C thing, but watch. C murder. C murder to talk. No, no, C murder. C murder the short ball here. Yeah. He ball now. His ass is like uh, Tory Lanez on the hill. <laughs> no, no, seriously, but the young one, the tall one, what's the nigga name? Uh, I can't even, I look at me trying to talk shit, right? Can't, don't even know the little nigga name. C thing. C thing, that's the tall one. C thing, the tall one. Okay. Right? Not sure. Now look, I I'm sure that I had to do my own homework in my head. You know I be studying this shit too though. Nah, seriously though. See now look right. Shorty got a video. 
<laughs> with the with the same mask on, the same hospital mask, the same black hoodie with the white letters on that bitch, with the Draco, with the same Draco, and the same five seven handgun, right? This is what he flashed and sitting in the back of the store on the car that they just did the hit in. Then he dropped a song, him and Zell, where they talking about the shoot in the song, right? And then your boy Muwap, what he say, ride around town with the shit, with, with, with the get backers, shorty dude from 63rd, he can't get back up. Ask what I did to do from 63rd, he can't get back up. Yeah, I mean, the whole thing was, was a train What? Wreck. Why would you even make a song, quote, ask what happened to the dude from 63rd, Ask what I did to the dude from 63rd. He can't get back up. That's what you said. That's what he said in his lyrics, right? After Duck got After killed. After he killed Duck, right? Then he had the little hints he was giving to the internet, uh, the flashes from his shoes, and he, he was doing a lot of stupid shit. And then on top of that, they did the shit and went back to Fairway Garden. Well, and they have the text messages between them. And oh, yeah, yeah, them like and Lil Zay Osama, little brother. He got, caught with one, he got caught with one of the switches that was used in the case and told him, oh, man, I got that shit from dude now. Showed the text messages and everything, nigga. They had, they had messages. Nigga, look, because Lil Zay Osama, little brother, on took nigga, he was out of Harvey with us. Nigga, and he dropped low, like, yeah, duck right here. But we had Pop's crib. Then they go, we be calling Pop's, rest his soul. We had Pop's crib. Shorty dropped the low, gave him the address and everything. Like, man, duck right here, right there. They never came on took weeks that I had. We was that that whole night. I guess I'm just trying to figure out, you kill a known person in the middle of a high-end district in Chicago. Right. And there's six people involved. How on earth did you think you're going to get away with this? You know, what I'm seven people involved. Seven people, yeah. Cause you got the one who who what who the feds first grabbed Zell right. and let him go. Y'all can't forget that, and don't forget Zell got hit, gang. Hmm. Everybody forgetting that this girl hit Zell, gang. Was she shot back? Well, yeah, when she shot back, he got hit and dropped his gun. Oh, so they found that. And found the bullet with and found the bullet with his blood. Right? Yeah. You can't forget the interview. Right. Boss top interview. Sitting in the O on top of the murder the 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 What? With everybody that was involved in the case. Everybody that was involved in the duck case on Tuka Gray. They were that man did that interview, everybody was right there. On the cars. In the camera. Thank y'all. That's how the fit. I know they were sitting back like, thank you, smart guys. Thank you, you smart fucks. Thank y'all so much. And Boss Top couldn't make it no clear. Yeah, y'all see the get backers back there. Motherfuckers about, motherfuckers about to watch what they said about T. Roy and Keita them. Motherfuckers come to get motherfuckers. And my shorty and them, he, he tried to say the same shit Duck say. Uh, my shorty and them don't play. Try to mark Duck, right? But all that dumb ass shit they did, then you know, again, Vaughn, even if on too great. So the Vaughn really did, because I don't think Vaughn paid them guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell the world. Uh, the most opposite, like, truthfully, this 150K, because everybody say 150K, but on the wiretaps and shit, it was 250K. Well, however many K it was, it was some money it's not involved. worth life in prison when you split it six ways. Man. Even, if you, even if you don't split it six ways, if you split it one way, th there's no justification for giving up the rest of your life for yeah. that, that little amount of money. Sure. The lawyer as, gonna as be you ten. work in the kitchen for three cents an hour. The, the, the lawyer going to be 10. Right. Gonna, a murder case? Uh, depending on what lawyer not, you not get. Not no 10K. It depends on who you get, man. Some lawyers, yeah, great lawyers, for, for real, to take 10 and go on that bitch and beat that body. Yeah, not, not on a high profile. Not, not like on a this. high profile. Yeah. You, you got to think about it. Ah, this high profile. Give me 50. So that's 50 gone from 200. Trial time come. Ain't no telling how much commissary, commissary costs 
Phone calls, coughs. Kids' birthdays roll around while you in jail. Holidays roll around while you in jail. And if you got money, you gonna get a, you gonna you gonna get that shit to them. Yeah. So you gotta think about it. That shit gonna be that shit gonna be gone. And you still gotta save some money for trial. Cause you gotta pay for your you gotta pay for the pay for the private investigators and all that shit and all the extra shit that's due for trial, right? right? Only to to lose on all counts with everyone involved. And, you know, the feds put out a statement. They said people have the right to go about their lives and walk the streets in safety, free from violence. The jury's verdict today holds the six defendants accountable for a brutal murder that took the life of Carlton Weekly. Working with our law enforcement partners, our office will continue to prioritize combating the unacceptable level of gang violence in Chicago. All too often, our residents are held hostage to violence and other dangerous activities on our city streets. These convictions show that there are very real consequences for murder in the city of Chicago today, tomorrow, and every day going forward. Yeah, that shit is it. That shit real, gang. A lot of people don't understand that shit, right? Everybody just want a body right now. On some real shit, gang. Everybody just want to catch one. Motherfuckers don't know, like, sure. When it's time to go do that time, I don't folks real like, the people that you think gonna be there ain't for to be there for shit show. Mm -hmm. That bitch that you be loving on, she's gonna move on. She's definitely gonna move on. Occasionally, she might come back. Probably not. Maybe maybe a year or two at the most, and then it's it's a wrap. Answer the phone for you here now. You know I got a boyfriend. I just had a baby. Yeah. Shorty, you know I'm my dear homie. I, mean, I went left for five in the split game. My baby mama, this one is a dyke. She didn't moved on with a whole lesbian. <laughs> that's it. She with a whole nother nigga. I come home. That's it. Then she done had two motherfucking miscarriages. This and that's the one. I damn the show. That was my heart. Like shot. Boy, when she moved on, I was in that bed hurt. When I say hurt, I was hurt. She was my dear homie. Yeah, I was hurt, and I had I had some little holes in jail. Like motherfuckers, when you. I had some shit on my dead homie, boy. I don't took, I ain't had no average shot. I had some real bad shit on my dead brother, nigga. Right now, I still got all my pictures and shit from jail. Nigga, I got bad shit on my dead homie. Folks, let me get that. This looks like a model. I know. Well, right after Duck gets killed, King Von gets killed. Right. When you heard that, considering the back and forth that y'all have had in, in your own ways. How did you feel? So I kind of happy. You were happy you can got I, killed? Can I say I was kind of happy? No, it's fucking, no, seriously, I was, though. It was it's fucked up. That, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, he did. But I was happy as hell when, when I found out Vaughn was dead. Nigga, I cooked for the whole day. For all the people I fuck with. <laughs> Don't let me get the lag, cause I know it's a few motherfuckers that was like, man, I was on deck with him for he ain't feed me. He only fed it was like, it was us. I only fed me and the motherfuckers I fuck with. It was about like eight of us. Mm, bro, me, my Sally. You, you guys, you guys were enemies. I mean, it's understandable. You know what I'm saying? Do yeah. you think? Do you think though? Had he lived and matured, that at one point y'all could have worked it out, or do you think there was just too much? blood spilled on both sides. I ain't gonna lie, Vaughn was alive right now. Me and Vaughn would probably be going back and forth with this shit, Shorty, cause he, he would have definitely been putting me in mode. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite op, Shorty. Like, I'm, I'm out there, I'm with late King night. Vaughn was your favorite op? Hell yeah. Okay. Late night, we high as hell, on the phone, tweaking with each other. He up stupid rolls on me. I'm broke in the trenches, up a big ass pose on him. Get that boy, you know when I catch you, you know what I'm gonna do. When hey. you guys are on the phone talking to each other. Oh, yeah, FaceTime, just kidding. FaceTiming. What's up, broski? You guys had each other's numbers. Yeah. I'm Tuga, Shorty. I'm my dear homie. Like, anybody can vouch that. I'm Tuga. I, I, I believe you. I call a motherfucker right now. Like, what was the last conversation? What was that last phone FaceTime conversation I had with Vaughn? I love bro take the whole conversation. Hmm. We in that bitch. I'm tweaking with him. Man, what you finna do? I'm rich, boy. Boy, you gotta go get some money, boy. How many kids you got now? He off his cash out, he he, 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 he off the cash you out. He off the cash you out. He off the C5K right now. What's your, what's your, what's your, you I'm for a stop. Well, I'm I mean, took your ass to go for you. Yeah, I got you, little bro. I'm for to hit you, son, son. Cause I used to call him my son. So 
You know what I'm saying? When we on the phone, he'd be, what up, son, son? What's up, son, son? What you want? Where you at? Man, we used to be tweaking, though. That was my favorite op on my dead, dead brother. I know if he was live right now, sure, he'd probably be like, damn, butter bitch ass. Okay, he gets some attention. Now I'm finna start dissing the fuck out of him. Oh, bro, ain't no telling, though. Me and Wolf, I definitely would've fried his ass. <laughs> So we pushing peace like a motherfucker. But boy, 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 I would have pushed peace. I, I would have pushed P.I. I would have pushed that pipe all the way in his motherfucking face. I don't focus where I would have blew his ass down. Um, bro, I'm pushing peace to get around King Von. I'm just, <laughs> you never know, though, man. People get older. People, nah, people hell, grow I have grown that shit. Oh, bro. Like, you know, at one point he may have apologized for whatever he did. You never know. You never know. People get older, they have kids, they have grandkids. They don't want to keep doing the same shit over and over again. I ain't gonna I, I'm lie. just saying. That's that's true, cuz as at, at the age I am, um, bro, like, I don't be into a lot of shit I used to be into. Right. Um, bro, I don't, you, can't even, you can't even pay me to get, get involved in a lot of shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a man, couple of years ago, I couldn't even see myself to know for pushing peace is crazy. I remember I was in jail for the first Peace Street with the guys and, and dude and them. Boy, I called home bugging the fuck up. I mean, y'all talking about a motherfucker Peace Street, boy. Boy, we sitting in jail. Y'all out squeaking, boy. They ain't got folks in them locked up. Y'all out there at Peace Street. Y'all crazy as hell, boy. Watch out for to get us home or something. I mean, that be warfare, teeth. Hey, man, we trying to get this money, man. We trying to make sure everybody come home from jail. We, oh, all right, all right. Folks got to lay the leg down on me. On oh, two, that's when I ended up running into D Roll on Bro for 600. And that's when I ended up getting up with nothing, 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 nope, nothing about. No, nope. Well, at one point. <laughs> I'm gonna say some stupid shit. I'm gonna fuck fool up. Well, at one point, you talked about how you dropped your uh, Gangster Disciple flag and you're dropping FBG from your name. You know what? I, I am what I am. I mean, what I never be. But I, you know, I I can't I can't drop my FBG nothing. I am like duck die for this shit, bro. Mm -hmm. In real life. So the brick. This ain't no J Main in in the whoops right now. You know how folks be being funny. Harriet tell me die for these whoops. Duck die for this shit, bro. So it's like, and. I wasn't in my right mind when I said I was taking FBG out my name. Yeah, I could have said I, 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 I retired my flag as a gangster disciple. That that's something I could have said. Okay. But dropping the flag to FBG, FBG ain't even no motherfucking game. What fucking flag did I got to drop? Who, who's left in FBG who's alive still? Shit, me. Fuck you, Jamel. That's all that matters. No, like, is you got FBG me. You got FBG, right. you got, I'm start out. Because right now I'm the biggest name. But well, FBG so, Cash got killed. Cash was the biggest name, so. In 2022. You know, at one point. You know, right now it's on me. I got the torch in my, uh, you know, I ain't fucking up. I don't do no fucking around. I'm nice with this bitch. But listen, for the FBGs right now, we had three, bro. You know what I'm saying? And this strong body right here. We come through these big bodies right here, Joe. These big trucks. But I'm number one right now. Feel Just, I, I, I just got to be honest. Number one on to something, though, because you got FBG Young. He number one. He on to something. He back, shorty. Shorty, he back, he back. He been fucking up the streets with this new music. Say that, I. No, I ain't. No, serious, though. Dutchy. You know what I'm saying? You got FBG Dutchy. Our FBG bigger, you know what I'm saying? It's a few FBGs, oh, bro. My fault. I did. I I just bapped. I just bapped a little bit. I just bapped it just a little bit. It's a few FBGs left, you know what I'm saying? Just as a side note, I remember when I had Rico Reckless and Ewal Samo on my show. They talked Whoa. about the Glock Dookie. Oh yeah, that's real. In Cook County Jail. Cook, Cook County. County is supposed to be a lot crazier than any it's prison. Bossy. What the hell that bitch getting wild. at? Ain't that bitch getting that? Motherfucker getting that on your wild. boy. Motherfucker getting on your shit or not? You front yeah. of your shit? Motherfucker getting on your shit? Motherfucker yeah, getting that savage life? Motherfucker 
gonna type you up in that bitch. Motherfucker, that bitch loose as hell. Motherfucker, that bitch. Getting... Dookie guns all the time. Motherfucker, that bitch. What? Glock Dookies in that bitch. Motherfucker, pull up on your ass with a Glock Dookie. Rob okay, you. Dookie Glock seven. Dookie in front of Gray's toothpaste. That bitch got shit in it, piss in it, nut in it, shaving cream, all type of shit. Motherfucker, Spray go. Motherfucker, 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 face motherfucker walk up on your ass with that bitch. What? Move right now. Spray the bitch in your face. Have you ever experienced the Glock Dookie? I was playing with the glizzies in that bitch. <laughs> you had your own Glock 2K. Um, I was walking around that bitch like it was a real gun. Cause you ain't gonna shit me down. <laughs> I'm passing out the trays in the morning. <laughs> and I be wolfing at night, beating on my door all night. You ain't gonna come to your door, getting you your tray, you shit me down. Hell nah, bitch, you blick me down, I'm blicking back. So you had the Glock Dookie? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm wicked with that bitch too. Okay, what about, he also talked about something called Savage Mode. Savage Squad. You know what I'm talking about? I know Savage Squad, gang. Like, I'm from Division 9, gang. That's when they knock you out and pull your pants down and spit in your ass. Get that butt. Like, Rico, <laughs> Rico Reckless wasn't getting butts in there on my brother's show. I'm not saying that no, he was. No, he, 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 said, didn't, he didn't he, say that he was. He said he was. No, he didn't say he did that. My homie did say it in the interview. No, 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 he no. no. He, he said he's he seen it happen. He never said he did that weird shit. I, I interviewed him. I remember. No, he didn't say he did it. Freak, man. Have you actually seen that happen? Have you ever seen someone violated like that? I was like on that? deck when it when it first happened. We was in the hole, gang. I don't, bro. In the hole. One of the BDs did it to a motherfucker. They little Scotty Pepper, little 33, little on my homie. You know, at, at some point. Baby D. At, at some point. Knock Scotty Pepper. As you're walking up. around with a Glock Dookie and you're seeing dudes getting spit in the ass, do you ever think like, how did I get here? What what life decisions have I made to put me in this craziness right now? So but that's not real. It's like an alternate no, that's, reality. That's half of it, bro. For real. They going to the top of the tip, right? And roll off that bitch down to the table like this. <laughs> Boom. And play dead to the it, so they can go to to sermon and go and get off the deck. Huh. They just fuck themselves up. They in a Get barber pins, right? I mean, paper, the uh, the paper pins. Paper clips? Paper clips, mm -hmm. right? And sticking them bitches in their arm and shit. Sticking them bitches in their in they body. Oh, bro. Sticking them bitches in the tip of their dick. Ugh. In a pee hole. Why? Just so they can go to Cermak before they want to get in traffic. Get there. That's Savage Squad. Them real Savage Squad members, that's what Savage Squad was doing. Get that bitch 40 pills. Trying to OD. Huh. Right now, are you on probation? Anything? Nah, I ain't on probation. You're totally off papers. Yeah, I've been, I've been off parole. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But you're still living in Chicago. Nope. You're not living in Chicago. Nope. So you I'll moved be out. in Chicago. Why do you even go to Chicago? Man, I be having shit to do. Yeah, but you know the consequences. Yeah. Certain people, like I said, Chief Keefe, I've never heard Chief Keefe even coming back to Chicago. Yeah. A and when I look at that, the first thing I think is he's smart. Yeah, yeah. That's the first, because you never, you've never heard of anything with Chief Keefe happening since I Don't Like came out. The only thing I ever heard was the whole Takashi thing where he got shot at in New York or some shit, which was some non-related shit. Yeah, and then uh, fooling him down to Philly. Was that Philly? Mm, not sure. Maybe. But I'm just no, saying... No, Jersey. In Jersey. All I'm saying is that you've never heard Chief Keefe get caught up in any Chicago shit ever in, like, over 10 years. Yeah, he sneak in. He, okay. He, he still be in Iraq, though, but he got money where... He out the way. So when he is in the city, my fool don't even know shorty he be there. Right. He's not hanging out. Nah. He's not outside. Nah. And that's smart. It is. Very. What I'm saying is it's probably time for you to just completely leave Chicago alone. Yeah. I'm fighting this gun case once. The, I, I got this bitch, though. I'm finna beat this bitch on the 21st. You know what I'm saying? I got this. Once I beat that, it's on. I'll probably still be in Dallas. Nah, I'll be in L.A. right now. But I'll probably be looking for somewhere to live in Dallas right now if I wasn't fighting this case. Dallas, L.A., all these are far away from Chicago, and everyone you have problems with are not going to be there. Ain't no funny shit, though, bro. And even if they, they're there, nothing's going to happen. 
No funny shit. Man, I ain't even know I was as famous as I, was, I am. Right? Until I went to Dallas. Mm. And that since I've been here, I just had a group of little boxers today. You know what I'm saying? We was over there at, at the No Jumper store. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Big Remo, he, he got a sit you, though. He got a sit you. But uh, the little young boxers, he, he, the shorty knew who I was. I had a mask on. Fuck, f skip that. This one guy, the man jumped out the car to come take a picture with me. Like, eh, I, I must, I must say, I, 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 I like this better than motherfuckers jumping out the car trying to blow my shit off. Right. I can say that. Yeah. And plus, I be hitting little shit like that. You feel me? It don't get no better, Lord. Hey man, I, I, I stay out. <laughs> I stay out the way. I, I stay out the way, and I live in a gated community. And if I have to go somewhere where I know I might have some, I run into people that I have problems with, I bring armed security. All uh, my security right here. Just pretty and dangerous. That's what a motherfucker fucked up at. Now nah, don't put on cam. <laughs> Don't put on camera, my security right there, armed and dangerous. No, just armed, no dangerous, just, just armed. God damn it. But we can get dangerous, mm. so leave me alone. Yeah. We here for a short time, not a long time, just a fun time. I definitely want to see some, I just see some little buns out here. I came with some buns, so I can't even really, really experience the buns for real. That's on you. <laughs> you're gonna deal with the repercussions of these statements later on you, know, you see you see how I look back with the with the slow knot well i just joking fvg butter man i appreciate you coming in and uh you have a lot of insight into a lot of important shit that happened man i'm sorry for your loss um, yeah. i'm sorry for the loss of your father i'm sorry for the loss of your sister i'm sorry for the loss of your friend duck and I know there's a lot of other people that I'm missing along yeah. the way, unfortunately, you know, that we didn't actually get to talk about. But, um, man, you lived a hard life. Mm -hmm. But you have a chance to turn it all around. Yeah, I do. You, I know, like you have a chance to live a boring, square-ass, non-eventful-ass life. Boring is crazy, bro. I'm a spontaneous man. Boring is underrated. Hanging out at your house with your family is underrated. Nah, nah. It's underrated. That ain't boring. Cause me and my kids, we be having a. I don't know, shit. I'm still, I'm still a kid at heart, man. Right, but I'm just saying, I'm it's, it's, that it's underrated. With the Nerf guns, chasing the kids, it's, we it's, under, it's underrated. Not having to look over your shoulder, you know, not getting into stupid shit, and it, you know, and over time, a lot of these beefs get old. So what's what's your what, what's your definition of boring? Because when you said boring, it was like I was thinking like. Great boring, boring. boring is my life, man. Living in a gated community with my family. Shit. Not having to worry about looking over my shoulder. I don't think your life boring, now. Hey, man, that's my version of boring. I, I've had shit that wasn't boring. I've, oh. I've had, you know, I've had some fucked up situations over the years. But at the end of the day, man, the whole point is to get old. The whole point is to see your kids grow up. And, uh, you know, although... FBG Duck is a legend from Chicago and people are talking about him and everything else like that. He never got a chance to see his kids grow up and be adults and, and be a grandfather and, and, and everything else like that, man. The way he died was sad. And I think if he had a chance to do it over, you know, maybe listen to my advice and say, fuck Chicago, I'm going to move out. Everyone would have been happier, including him, his family, everything else like that, man. So I want you to stick around. I don't want this to be our last interview. I want you to be safe, man, and not, not get into any more trouble, any more violent situations. Like, I, I told myself at one point, I'm not going to get into no more physical situations for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? And, and I know that if I have to go somewhere where I feel like I have to bring a gun with me, then I just don't go there. And if I have to go there, I'll have someone come with me with their gun. And they're legally licensed or they're actual, you know, active police or retired police where I know that they can legally do whatever they got to do and they'll take the stand and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to yeah. be in a situation where now one of my friends who has an illegal gun shot somebody and then I got to, I'm part of a, you know, like, like your yeah. situation. Yeah. Someone gets shot, you're not even the shooter and now you're a part of a murder case and 
that type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, man, I appreciate you coming in, driving 27 hours to yeah. get here. Yeah. Making it on time, pretty much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, man, I wish you all the best. Hey, man, it was definitely a pleasure, man, you know. And yeah. I, I couldn't miss the chance of being up here on one of the hugest platforms. You, Thank you. You the GOAT at the interviews, bro. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you created this shit. Thank you. I had to give me a... a, a do I look good, Marlon? Say cheat. I'm just on there. I definitely appreciate it, though. That's what it is, man. Until next time. Peace. Let's do it. Peace.